I'd like to take a moment now to describe three programs that we are announcing here today. The first is, in fact, the X Prize, a $10 million contest to privately build a spaceship, a ship that's able to fly to 100 kilometers altitude, carry three individuals, and do that twice inside of two weeks. On both flights, the crew must return safely to the planet, and the ship must return safely so that it is reusable. He kind of looked at me and said, well, what do you think? And I looked at him and said, Peter, you're crazy. Peter must have first come to me about 20 years ago with the idea of the X Prize. Foolishly, I passed on it. I had so many people telling me, forget it. It's never going to happen. They can't pull it off. Someone's going to die trying. You'll never raise the money. And I had so many people afterwards saying, thank God you didn't give up. I was born in 1961. JFK said, let's go to the moon, the year that Alan Shepard went on his first flight to space. I became obsessed with space. Well, you can imagine this wonderful nine-year period when the world developed nine different manned space launch systems. The next 44 years, there were three. I realized the trajectory that the United States had, going to the moon, going to Mars, going to beyond, had died. And the dreams I had of going to space were not materializing. It was not going to be the government that got us there. I have always been a, a fan of prizes, and he immediately told me the criteria for suborbital reusable space planes. I thought that would make a difference if somebody did that. Millions of people want to go to space. With his idea, we could change the whole paradigm. The change is coming. It's going to be great because we're going to make it great. Let's make sure we anticipate the future. Where could we go? To another planet? To another solar system? How long could we live? Another year? Another lifetime? What can you do to restate the big problems and the big aspirations of our time and incentivize people to turn those dreams into reality? That's what XPRIZE does. So why are you so optimistic about the future? Don't you read the papers? Technology is that force which takes what used to be scarce and makes it abundant. The whole ethos of XPRIZE is to set a goal. I don't care where you went to school, what you've ever done before. If you solve this problem, you win and we all win. We can create a world of abundance, a world where we solve all of the major grand challenges, a world where we meet the basic needs of every man, woman, and child on this planet. All of these things are possible, and it's really one's conviction one's determination, the passionate, committed mind that says, I don't care what it takes, I'm going to make this thing happen. That's the new era that we're living in, the era of the private explorer, the private entrepreneur and financier who's willing to risk it all to make their dreams happen. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's in the role, it appears at this point. 